All right, I am back. And I realized that the best thing that could have ever happened to me was TikTok being shut down. Who knew? I think I've already talked about that before. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a relief. It was a huge weight that has been lifted. And I don't want to talk about politics anymore. I'm so over it. Nine years. I am done. Probably when it comes closer to the election, I might talk about it here and there. But other than that, I'm just, no, I can't. All right, let's talk about P. Diddy. Let's do it like everyone else is doing it. <clears throat> He's starting to name names. And the House of Cards is falling down. All of the people that I grew up listening to are going down. And so my playlist is going to be empty. It's just going to be empty. Diddy rival named several alleged high-profile co-conspirators. So who's his rival exactly? They're saying that Dr. Dre... I kind of had a feeling Dre was involved. I don't know why. I think... Yeah, I just had a bad feeling about Dre. I love Dre. I love Dr. Dre. Huge fan. All over my playlist. But I had a bad feeling about him and this situation right when it came up. Jay-Z... It's just about to go down. It's about to go down. I hope that... Diddy doesn't end up Epstein, you know? All right, so they had these freak-off parties, and they had this white party that they would um, get all the young underage girls to come to because they wanted to be in the industry. And they would kind of spread them around, you know, share them with a lot of people. And so there's over 100 women, young women now, that are um, little boys too. I think boys were involved as well that are pressing charges. And so this is gonna be, it's, it's gonna be way more than 100. That's just the start. Um, so Suge Knight is the one that keeps talking shit. He's in prison. So he's been saying a lot of things about P. Diddy. He's been saying that he's been an informant for years, that he's the one that had um, Tupac killed, and yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot, because they were on, they're on different sides, you know, West Coast, East Coast, all of that, that's, so he's going, whatever he knows, he's going to reveal, because he wants maybe to get out early, I don't know, I don't know how long he's in, if he's in life in prison, then they'll probably just give him some you know, benefits like having his own podcast. Oh, wait a minute. He has his own podcast. Oops. Yeah, that's funny. I kind of want to listen to it. I mean, what does he talk about? That is crazy. The rapper and Bad Boy Records founder has been accused of numerous sexual assaults, including the recent uh, filing of over 120 alleged victims report dating back to the ne nearly 30 years. So since the 90s, this has been going on. It doesn't really surprise me. You know, back in the day, when you think of like the Playboy Mansion and places like that, there was always freak-offs, you know? They just called it something else. They just called it a big fucking orgy. And so powerful men have been taking advantage of young women, a lot of underage women. One girl was like nine for a very long time. This is nothing new. It's just coming out now. And a lot of them were trafficked. So, um, none of these cases have yielded a criminal conviction at this time. However, if the charge, well, they have a lot of video too. They've, I don't know why Diddy didn't hide that, the videos, because, and the baby oil, couldn't he have like given it away as gifts? Because they, he knew that his properties were going to be raided. And so the fact that he kind of didn't put his shit on lockdown better is crazy to me. Okay. So Suge Knight is the one naming names. And it's because he was Tupac's friend. He was in the car when Tupac got shot, when Tupac was murdered. But he's also been known to, like, kill people. So I guess he has nothing to lose right now. He's already in prison. 
While speaking out on Combs' alleged crimes during a recent interview, fellow, a fellow record industry executive, Suge Knight, was quick to name a host of prolific executives and multi-platinum selling artists as potential Diddy co-conspirators. So this gets, this is really big. Snoop Dogg is on the list. I said this before. Yes, there's some political reasoning why I don't like Snoop Dogg. I know that he paid a great deal of money to Trump to get his friend um, out of prison, basically, to be, have him pardoned by Trump. Trump, and that's illegal to take bribes from people, to take money from people, but you know, it's Trump. He gets, he's, that's what he does. So Snoop Dogg was one of them. So he said, oh, I love Trump. I love me some Trump. I love that guy or whatever. And he used to hate him, hate him. Like, I think he had a few songs about him. So because he got his friend out, he loves him. And so I stopped liking Snoop. I won't watch The Voice. I won't, I want nothing to do with that. So the fact that, oh God, Rick Ross, Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, The Game, Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre and Snoop are very close and uh, it's just heartbreaking. <laughs> All of this is like, uh, these are, these were my generation. These were my peeps as far as I was concerned. Like I, that's all I listened to, you know, back in the day. Uh, we're all at the very least, she said, the very least aware of these parties and refuse to do anything to stop them. The former Death Row Records head, Honcho, also argued that Diddy was likely assaulted by a series of predatory music industry leaders who came before him, naming Clive Davis, Russell Simmons. So he's, okay, what he's saying is that Diddy's the way he is because he was abused himself. Abused people, hurt people, hurt and that's what I was saying about Leonardo DiCaprio, that he was hurt in that business. He was molested and fucked with and raped, what have you, whatever it was. He's not going to own up to it. I don't think he ever will. But they're saying that Diddy probably did the same. So then Diddy goes and does the same thing to Justin Bieber? I, it just, it's, a, it's a pattern of abuse. And it's ending for this group at least, is ending now. So Diddy appeals bail for third time with new high-powered lawyers. If he gets out, I'm going to be so fucking pissed because it's, I'm sick of seeing people get away with things. It's just so freaking annoying. So longtime enemies, so him and Suge Knight have been longtime enemies. This goes back, like I said, east side, west side, all of that. And they say that because of that, Suge Knight is not always a trustworthy source. And of course, Diddy and all of them think that Suge Knight has something to do with Biggie's death. And this is, this is crazy. Oh, okay, here we go. The former CEO is currently serving a 28-year pr prison sentence in California for a number of compounding, uh, compounding crimes, including one count of voluntary manslaughter which stems from a 2015 hit and run. Yeah, the, he was fighting with the guy. He ran him over. I mean, everyone knows that. And so he has a 28-year prison, prison sentence. But I think he's been in there for at least 2015. He's been in there for quite a while. Maybe he's thinking he could get out on good behavior. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just surmising. Suge and Diddy have long been enemies in the industry and have both separately been accused of having something to do with the untimely shooting deaths of rap greats such as Tupac and B.I.G., Biggie Smalls. So yeah, all of that. Two brilliant rappers, just huge rappers, are dead because of the stupid East Coast, West Coast bullshit. But it's not Suge Knight's fault that he's having freak-offs. I mean, that's... In, fucking with little girls that's not okay but also little boys everyone says that he's into both and now they're they're using the excuse that well diddy was fucked with by clive owen and all of the, those motherfuckers so he's re, he's behaving this way for that reason what time is it okay so suge is just spilling the tea all over the damn place 
I, I'm here for it. I am. I want to see what he has to say. I've always been curious about him and this whole, it's all this bullshit, all this bullshit. But we don't know what kind of shit Suge Knight was into before he was in prison. We don't know. But I, yeah, I just, it's weird that the Snoop Dogg's on the list because I feel like he's being like, he's trying extra hard to be in the spotlight and for people to like him, like being on The Voice. Who Who's on The Voice? You know, like if, I feel like your career is really suffering if you're on The Voice. Or if you're like, I don't know. I, bad feelings. I got some bad feelings. So yeah, he's calling out Dr. Dre and some more rappers. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. All right, everyone. I'm going to sleep. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, peace out.